All right, Michael. So first of all, I just wanted to ask you, just what are your thoughts on Jake Diebler being the new head coach here at Ohio State? Extremely excited for him, excited for our program. Jake has worked a long time to get to this point, so I'm very proud of him. Um, it's just a proud day for the Diebler family. I, I was teasing him earlier. His brother was calling me in the middle of his press conference, uh, speaking of John. So uh, it was a funny moment. And uh, but I love their family. I love what he represents. How well have you known him over the years? Just how have you seen him grow into this role? Yeah, I think each year he's had great mentors along the way, great coaches to be under. So uh, he's uh, certainly learned, absorbed as much as he could from those moments with those coaches uh, until his time came. And uh, part, of, part of leadership is learning how to follow. And he's followed very well. And when you follow well, it qualifies you to lead. It sounded like you were involved in the process of them talking to you. Just what, what was that like for you? Well, no, I think for me, I've, I've been a part of every process I've, I've been a part of in the last 20-something years because I love this program. And whether it's Thad, whether it's Chris, whether it's now Jake, uh, I care about this program deeply and want us to get to back to being the Final Four team, Big Ten Championships. That's the standard here at Ohio State. And so uh, all the four players have had a role in some capacity over the years of like wanting to get us to elite status in this in this country. What gives you confidence that Jake can be the guy to get Ohio State back there? Uh, I think Jake is uh, overqualified, honestly. I think what he brings to the table, obviously Ohio roots, his passion for the game, his age is actually one of his biggest assets, right? He's able to relate to these kids in a different way, has a different approach, different methodology, and it worked in the season. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. continue to be himself, continue to be authentically him, himself. I think he'll do just fine. How have you seen him kind of relate to you all as former players that maybe kind of won you guys over collectively? Well, he's always been that way. He's, even as assistant coach, he would call us, check in with us, and we would come by and spend time with him. He was always about family. I think that's a reoccurring theme today in today's press conference. Family is important to him, and it transcends even your own personal family. It bleeds into the work. And so for him, he's living a dream being the head coach here at Ohio State. And I think one of the things that he's going to really emphasize all the more is family. What is your just your biggest advice to him? Pray. Pray. My biggest advice to him is to pray, stay humble, um, keep learning, keep growing, learn from your players, um, love your players, um, and good things will happen. So. How confident are you of this program is close, but it can get back to that level that it should be soon? I think we're very close. I mean, it didn't seem like it the last couple of years, but not too far from move from having tremendous success here in this program. So it can be done. I do believe Ohio State can be a blue blood program. Um, it's a matter of execution, right? And, and buying in from everybody that's involved. And uh, when that happens, uh, special things can happen.